Hello YouTube. This is Lachlan T. 1984 from Melbourne, Australia. Those of you who watched my video yesterday will know that I recently got the Teddy Ruxpin Lullabies tape for the world's of under Teddy Ruxpin. And you have also heard my my story about my recent experiences with Teddy Ruxpin and well all the stuff that's been going on in, in regard to my trying to get one that uh, works because the one that I had that was working was sent away to be repaired and unfortunately came back in somewhat worse condition than it was in when I sent it which is rather unfortunate but this is just what happens and you will have heard my story well as you have noticed in that video, I did try and play the Teddy Ruxpin Lullabies tape, and it did play. Not 100%, but it did work. And today I've been testing at least half of my Teddy Ruxpin cassettes in this replacement Teddy Ruxpin that I have, and though there were issues with some of the tapes, most of them played reasonably well. Most of them played, I guess, a semi-tone lower or a full tone lower than what they were supposed to, but that's just one of those things I just thought, well look, I'll just deal with it for now. But this evening something rather interesting has happened. Firstly, here's an example of what the Teddy Ruxpin Lullabies tape is supposed to sound like for those of you who don't know. Let's go to far off places and search for treasures giant airship and sail into the sky let's watch the ground so far below now that sounds fine and indeed just before i had my lunch today i was listening to this tape in the teddy ruxman and it was playing just fine the sound wasn't was a little bit warbly but it was playing just fine otherwise but about Maybe two hours ago, no, not even that, just under an hour ago, I'd say, or maybe a bit more than an hour ago, I decided to test my Teddy Ruxpin again, and, well, this is what happened. Let's watch the birds as they fly by. The butterflies in springtime will lead us on. Yeah. Yeah, that does not sound good. Now, these batteries are pretty good. They're not brand spanking new. They're they certainly haven't they haven't had a heavy amount of use. The batteries are fairly new. They haven't been used a fair amount. And so it could very well be the batteries. But somehow I don't think it is. Somehow I think something else has gone wrong. I am going to get new batteries for Teddy Ruxpin tomorrow. I'll go down to the post office probably and get some. But... I, I, I just don't think these batteries are the cause of the problem. problem. Unfortunately, I don't believe I have any C-cells that are new in the packet anywhere around the house. I'm pretty sure I don't have any. But given that these batteries are still fairly good, and this Teddy Ruxpin is doing that, it does not make me happy at all. So, I don't quite know what could have gone wrong. I can only assume that what's probably happened is that the circuit that controls the tape deck speed may have stopped functioning. 
Okay guys, so I've just come back from the petrol station where I bought two packets of sea cells for Teddy Ruxman. Let's put these batteries in and we'll see if it works. Okay, so I've put the new batteries into Teddy Ruxman. I decided not to do it on camera just because it takes up too much time. Let's see what happens now. Yeah, just as I expected. So it wasn't the batteries. There is something funny going on here. Can you believe it? Can you believe this? This is the second Teddy Ruxpin that I've received as a replacement from Toys for Talk. I got this on Tuesday and actually didn't use it very much this week until yesterday when I got this Teddy Ruxpin lullabies tape. And this morning when I tested my tapes, though they were playing a little bit jerkily and not quite playing at the correct speed, well they were playing. They were working for the most part. The performance wasn't perfect, but they were working. And now this has happened. Can you believe it? To quote Dr. Pym from the 1930s Australian radio comedy, Yes What? When Greenbottle, one of the students in the class, says something stupid. Oh, it's not true. I don't believe it. I mean, this is just insane, guys. This is just ridiculous. You know, during this whole situation, I have often thought of whether I really should continue on with this, that is, using and listening to Teddy Ruxpin. There have been a few times when I've just thought to myself, maybe I should just eliminate Teddy Ruxpin from my life and just not bother anymore. Just get rid of all the Teddy Ruxpin merchandise I have, the toys, the tapes, everything. Just get rid of it all. Just sell it on eBay, dump it, whatever, just get rid of it. I've just been thinking to myself, should I do that? And I've kind of been tempted to, but deep down, I really don't want to. I mean, I'm 28 years old and I'm, I'm an adult man. But deep down, I really love Teddy Ruxpin. I genuinely love Teddy Ruxpin as a character. And I love the toys. And I love the Teddy Ruxpin lullabies tape. I love it. As crazy as it may seem to some people, I love it. But, this is what's happening. I'm not having any luck here. Um, so, that's the latest in this situation here. This Teddy Ruxpin is not working properly now. This is, as I say, the second one I've received from Toys the Talk to replace the first one that I sent in to get fixed. I sent that first Teddy Ruxpin to the YouTube user AppleSox89, and I understand he has received it, and he actually has managed to get it to work. He told me he cleaned the cassette heads in the tape deck because they were filthy, and when he did that, it worked with all his tapes. I think what's happened here is something has gone seriously wrong somewhere. Yeah, not good. Not good. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do now, and as I said yesterday, this is one of the reasons why I want to see a new version of the Teddy Ruxpin toy become available, because as time goes on, unfortunately, it's going to be harder to find source parts, source replacement parts for these Teddy Ruxpins, particularly because, I mean, the cassettes are no longer manufactured, you know, I don't know if anyone's making the motors anymore, cassette players are becoming harder, are becoming, you know, less and less of a manufactured item, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's the latest in this situation. I am not pleased at all. This is just, this is just ridiculous. This is just absolutely ridiculous. So, what I'll probably do is I will probably try to find another working Teddy Ruxpin on eBay, because I do want a Worlds of Wonder Teddy Ruxpin that works, and that works properly, and that plays the tapes and everything. But so far, things are not doing well. 
Anyway, I want to keep this video short because I know I ramble and ramble and ramble and ramble and ramble in my videos. So I'm going to stop this video now. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any suggestions as to why this Teddy Ruxpin might be playing up, please let me know. If you don't, then it doesn't matter. Anyway, bye for now. And thanks for watching.